This is really interesting. Listen, pay attention to this sentence. All are. And if we had more of an awareness about the obstacles for fake. Wait, listen if to we this. all are. Wait, 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 we oh, sorry. Documentary will help people realize how connected we all are. And if we had. Documentary will help people realize how connected we all are. So Meghan Markle, who disconnected from her entire family, every friend she's ever had that she no longer needs, is actually doing a documentary to remind people, listen to this sentence again and again. Help people realize how connected we all are. Oh. If we had more of an awareness about the obstacles they're facing, I think we'd take care of each other, this plan. We'll take care of each other. The way you took care of the English people when you went away during the coronavirus, the way you took care of the Queen and the royal family when you disconnected from them after they gave you a beautiful wedding and spent millions on on you and gave you this Frogmore cottage. This is how you can rem remind people how connected we all are by disconnecting and running away and from every place, from Canada to the US and God knows where else and animals in a very different way. The 38-year-old recorded her top secret voiceover for the doc at London's Pinewood Studios last October. Elephant director and producer Mark Linfield tells E.T. that her hubby, Prince Harry, was there to watch. We also had Harry from the cheap seats in the back, <laughs> sort of suggesting some alternative pronunciation. This is a... Harry was watching. Um, if what... Since the marriage... Harry has lost his amazing, powerful position um, in UK, and he's been reduced to being um, an observer. He doesn't have any job, doesn't do anything, and she's all of a sudden in the limelight. She's like, you know, she's like, um, they went to see, what was it, The Lion King? And then he pushed... Her, oh, can you get my wife a job? You can even hear it. So the whole focus is on her. When he's the Prince of England with top positions, he's been reduced to sitting and watching his wife doing voiceovers to or whatever it's called. What is it? Dubbing? Uh, doing soundtracks to nature documentaries all about how we're all connected when she's disconnected from everyone and disconnected him from his own family. And if we look at an elephant, it's like you take an elephant and disconnect it from the whole herd. So how are you supposed to teach everybody? How are you? How is Megan supposed to teach that everybody is connected when she disconnected from everybody and con disconnected her, her husband from his entire family? Elephants we rarely see. Elephant debuted on the streaming service April 3rd and marks the Duchess's first gig since she and Harry made... Her voice just gives me... The you know, the way she says, I rarely, rarely see. It's like she's enjoying so much, like everything. And it's like so full of herself. The royal exit on March 31st. They've since relocated to Meghan's hometown of L.A. with their 11-month-old son, Archie, where they've wasted no time getting involved in their new community. Getting involved in the new community? You mean like closing themselves off in a mansion, a multi-million mansion, and putting up a fence uh, that doesn't allow anybody to see them, and flying in helicopters. I don't think that really connected to the community. The person who did this was probably the same level of hypocrisy as this couple. In the coronavirus pandemic. This isn't a couple... Um, that like to sit still and do nothing and of course they're settling into a new home they'll be getting Archie settled into a routine a new home a new home they're settling in with the mansion of a millionaire they're moving homes faster than people change socks which routine does this baby have he's disconnected from he's constantly like disconnecting from one place to another he has not slept in the same room for I don't know I mean, they're always changing. What are you talking about settling in? Um, but, you know, they are hard at work. The pair has been spotted volunteering. Oh, I love this sentence. Hard at work. Hard at work. You mean throwing a ball to the Labrador as he swims in the swimming pool? Hard at work? She even closes her eyes here. Listen. Hard at work. The hard at work. 
He doesn't work. She doesn't work. Who's exactly how it work? Archie, maybe. There has been spotted volunteering with Project Angel Food several times over the last week. Here they are on Friday, holding hands while delivering meals to critically ill people. Project Angel Foods executive director Richard Ayub tells ET that it was Megan's mom, Doria Raglan, who suggested they volunteer with the organization. I went on one delivery. Wait, how old is she? How old is she? Her mother suggested she volunteer. I don't remember my mother suggesting I volunteer. Actually, ever. I, I think I always did my own things. I don't remember my mother telling me at 37 what to do. And I suddenly wouldn't have listened to her since... I guess I had my own personality. I mean, she's 37, 38. He's like 33. And the mother suggested he volunteer. How about suggesting you get a job? Great with Harry and Megan. And they were all about the client. They were all about service. All about service. Well, that's a new one. Because then when they were in South Africa, it was all about, well, thank you for asking. Because nobody ever asked about me. They come to Africa where people don't have enough water, don't have enough clean water. Uh, education is a problem. Poverty is a problem. Getting enough food is a problem. Crime is a problem. And it's all about her and how the media tortured her so much. <laughs> and she's serving people? You mean the way she wrote on the banana? They went messages on a banana? You talk about compassion. Loving souls, that's what these people are. Loving souls, uh, ignoring, disconnecting from her father, breaking his heart, disconnecting from her siblings, disconnecting from anyone who's ever helped her because they no longer, she no longer needs them, heart and soul. Him telling people that the UK exaggerates coronavirus when thousands of people are sick and dying, telling that the media is to blame for coronavirus. Uh, spreading lies and conspiracy theories instead of helping. I don't think that shows heart and soul. Wanted to do it quietly. And hey, listen, listen, listen. Wanted to do it quietly. Wait. Wanted to do it quietly. Quietly? There's, there's always the camera catching them by surprise. And they did. And speaking of doing things on the DL, Megan and Harry are also implementing a new media relations policy. On Sunday, the couple announced their plans to cut off four major British tabloids for running what they call invasive stories. This so is that the way they connected in the community? By suing the Daily Mail, The Sun, The Express, and The Mirror, plus their Sunday and online editions. Is there any... British newspaper they haven't banned? I mean, I think it take like, who didn't they ban? Has obtained the message Meghan and Harry's communications team sent to editors on their behalf, which clarifies that this is not in any way a blanket policy for all media. So I will always protect my family, and now I have a family to protect. According wait, 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 listen to this. Now I have a family to protect. So where did you grow up? In the jungle? What about... Don't you have a father? Don't you have a brother? Don't you have niece and niece and nephews? And now I have a family to protect. Now you have a family to protect. You mean you didn't have a family before? What is your brother, William? You know, chopped liver? What is everybody else? This is ridiculous. You never had a family? According to the statement, the couple's decision to stop engaging with the aforementioned publications is due to reporting which they call distorted, false, and invasive beyond reason. They also added that it has a real human cost. E.T. has also learned that Meghan and Harry insist that their decision is not a result of negative reporting. Rather, quote, media have every right to report on and indeed have an opinion on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, good or bad, but it can't be based on a lie. It can't be based on a lie. You mean like uh, they're not using public money and live a luxurious life? That's that's a lie? Be bullied <laughs> into, into, into playing a game that killed my mom. The last time I saw somebody behave like this, it was Chris Watts after he murdered his family. So if I was Megan and uh, 
Archie, I'd be kind of uh, not really. I'd, I'd kind of keep an eye on this guy. Look again at how he walked. Uh, did you see the Chris Watts video? How he, when he, you know, the one who murdered his entire family. How he talks. To, uh, look at his eye. Look how he doesn't have eye contact and he keeps swaying in a nervous way. Would you trust? <laughs> into 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 playing a game that's, that can Wait, not, listen. not be bullied. <laughs> Look. Based on a lie. Look. I won't be bullied. <laughs> into, into, into I won't be bullied. <laughs> you mean there's there's a contrast between what he's saying and how he says it. And that's that killed my mom. Et has learned that Megan and Harry didn't want to take this step publicly because they want to focus their energy and attention on supporting efforts in response. Wait again. Step publicly because they want to focus their energy. Wait. Harry didn't want again. to into playing a game that that killed my mom. E.T. has learned that again, again, into 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 playing a game that that killed my mom. E.T. has learned that Meghan and Harry didn't want to take the. So how old is he? He's thirty-three, and he's like Bambi. They killed my mom, and the media killed his mom. Are you, he's sure the media killed his mom? Really? At publicly because they want to focus their energy and attention on supporting efforts in response to COVID nineteen. Yeah, they were really active. I mean, how active were they in COVID? You know, they, one picture of them holding hands, uh, you know, of course, they did it very discreetly. They always have a cameraman um, watching them distribute food. Maybe it was like, to be honest, how much did they volunteer? One hour, half an hour, could be 15 minutes for all we know. Nobody knows how long they volunteer because the media spreads lies. So the media can't tell. How long did they volunteer? How active were they? He said that the media invented the, cover, the, the coronavirus and she was reading stories that were completely unrelated to it. So I think they spent about five minutes, five minutes volunteering for coronavirus. But with their upcoming nonprofit set to launch and their ongoing legal action against one of the tabloids, quote, it was necessary to set out a clear agenda. The agenda is suing media when there's cor coronavirus, they're busy suing. Megan and Harry announced last October that they were pursuing legal action against Associated Papers after the Mail on Sunday published a private, handwritten letter Megan wrote to her estranged father, Thomas Markle. Um, let's get back to this. So, I want to see this contradiction. They say, we're very focused on volunteering, we're very focused, and yet they're suing. I think if you're involved in a legal action against somebody, that's what you're focused on. You can't dance in both weddings, we say in Hebrew. You can't, you, 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 you can't burn the candle on both ends. You can't volunteer for the community and sue papers. It's just there's not only so many hours in the day and so much attention, and it seems like the attention was mostly suing people and denying things. And as we know that the number one rule in crime is deny, deny, deny. And they're always volunteering for things that involve food for some reason, you know? Sorry, it almost fell. Um, so, no, I, I'm not... I didn't do this video to say negative things about them, but just to expose, there's some channels on YouTube that are praising them still. And um, what, is, what was the sentence? I didn't come to praise Caesar, I came to bury him. I mean, it's like, we're not in the Middle Ages. It's not at a time where people would just waste, spend enormous amounts of money while the masses starve. A lot of people were hit hard by coronavirus. As one amazingly brave woman uh, on YouTube you know, she was just, she's been saying it all along. Uh, and she comes from Sussex. She said, you know, it's just that they say one thing and do another. And that's called hypocrisy. They say they really want to help. They say they really care. She says connections are really important. And that she disconnects. She's supposedly part of the community, yet they build fences and live in a multi-million mansion. That's not being part of the community. Just because there's a photo of them holding hands and delivering food parcels, we don't know if it was five minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, or maybe even just for the photo. 
And what kind of people volunteer because their mother, the mother suggests? I mean, how old are they? Um, I wonder if they really realize that grown-up people don't need a mother to tell them how to spend their free time. And as far as hardworking, there was one video of Harry throwing a ball to his Labrador who jumped into his swimming pool. Uh, I'm sorry, that doesn't seem like connecting to the community, helping anyone, or working hard. And as far as those elephants, oh my God, I really need to go back to this. I want to close up with the most important message um, that exposes the hypocrisy and thank God that people are exposing hypocrisy in a very different way the 38 year old recorded her top secret voiceover for the doc at one Mark top Linfield secret. Everybody tells everybody spoke e about it <laughs> she's such a love <laughs> elephant debuted on the streaming service April 3rd and marks the Duchess's first gig since she and Harry made their royal to Megan's hometown of LA with Hopefully. No time getting involved in their new community. I'm sorry. Suggesting yeah. some alternative for new, no. The 38 year old recorded wait, 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 had it? more of an awareness about the obstacles they're facing. I think we take care of each other, this planet, and animals in a very different We take care of each other, but yet when they interviewed you in Africa, all you could do is talk about yourself. Way. The 38 year old recorded her top secret voiceover. Where was this? To play in their presentation to be able to have hands-on experience with elephants in their natural habitat. When you spend time connecting to them and the other wildlife, you really understand we have a role to play in their preservation and their... Like flying around in jets and destroying the planet and telling people not, not to do what you do. In it, she reveals why this project is so special to her. I've been very lucky to be able to have hands-on experience with elephants in their natural habitat. It's not luck, it's called money. Peace, light, and love for everybody. And uh, let's keep exposing hypocrisy. And I'm so happy that Understand she lost the case. Understand we have a role to play in their preservation and their safety. Megan says she hopes the documentary will help people realize how connected we all are. How connected we all are by disconnecting from UK, by disconnecting from your family. If we had more of an awareness about the obstacles they're facing, I if we had more awareness of the obstacles we're facing, we wouldn't be making a mockery out of ourselves. Please, please listen to yourself, Megan, and um, don't preach what you don't practice. And for the brave channels on YouTube, this is dedicated to all these brave people on YouTube that are making videos, whether it's UK or US. I don't want to name any of them, but you know who you are. I, 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 I listen to your voice and I hear your anguish and how, let, let, let's uh, look again, this, you know, um, passion project. She's passionate about their it. preservation and their safety. Megan says she hopes the documentary will help people realize how connected we all are. How connected we all are. Can we learn how connected we all are with somebody who disconnects um, her husband from his royal family um, disconnected a prince from his country. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever married a prince and took them away from his legacy, his, uh, his family, his country, his culture. And this is how she's going to show us that we're all connected. Uh, she took him away because she wanted to make an elephant movie. If we had more of an awareness about the obstacles they're facing. If we had only awareness of how narcissistic you, it is to disconnect anyone from their home, their country, their family, and to come in between them and to constantly seek to sue people out of spite rather than to try to invest your energy in real projects and not just taking photos um, to show how you volunteer. Maybe her mother suggested they take a photo looking like they volunteer, but I really am very skeptical about whether they really do, in fact, volunteer. They volunteer to eat food that poor people cook, that they're very good at.
oh, to see her with all those women who lost everything uh, in a disaster, and then she puts them in the kitchen, and she's empowering women that way. How many hours did she this, did she spend in the kitchen changing diapers for babies, or any work that these women do uh, for years? And then in, she's empowering them by putting them in the kitchen in traditional female roles. I'm sorry, I have lost my appetite. So let's keep exposing hypocrisy and let's keep uh, not allowing wealthy people to take advantage of their position to spread stupid um, nonsense which they don't know nothing about. Health, coronavirus, ecology. Why don't they stick to something they know? And um, swimming, the swimming pools of very wealthy people while the rest of humanity um, has to stay home and has no ability to enjoy these activities. That was really nice of them to have their photo taken volunteering. But if you really want to know if somebody's telling the truth, you see whether what they speak, and what they do, that whether there's a correlation between what they say and what they do. Anyway, I'm, I've learned a lot from them too. And I'm definitely going to pay attention to this discrepancy in the future as well. Peace, line, and love.